Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be telling you how to bond a all ceramic inlay to the pipette cavity which you can see here this is the pipette cavity and in this we are going to bond a all ceramic inlay within the confines of this. So what is an inlay? Inlay is basically an indirect uh, restoration, intracoronal restoration which is luted on in, onto the uh, pipette cavity. So let us see how we are going to do this and we are going to bond it with the help of resin cement. So here we have the 3D printed model of the scan which you just saw of the prepared cavity which you can appreciate here and this is the all ceramic inlay which I was talking about. So first thing what we have to do is you have to take this inlay and try it into the prepared cavity. You can use a try and paste for this. So we apply a try and paste onto the internal surface of this proximal inlay and then you can just apply it onto the prepared cavity like this. Check for the color contour of this inlay onto the uh, prepared tooth. So once we are satisfied with that, then we start with the bonding procedure. So you are carefully going to remove this after the trine and once you have removed this after the trine you clean the internal surface of the trine paste if you have used in this case I haven't used any trine paste so that is okay you dry the surface after cleaning and then after that you apply the silane coupling agent so you take a silane coupling agent you can use the silane coupling agent and apply on the internal surface of the uh, prepared uh, of the ceramic inlay. Once this is done for 10 seconds, you have leave it there and then wash this. So after washing, you dry this area and leave it aside. Then what do you do? You use uh, you have to uh, first prepare the surface of the cavity. So you will use an etch and bond technique. In this, you are going to use an etchant that is 37% uh, phosphoric acid. You apply this onto the prepared cavity. Like this. Once you have done this, you allow for 20 seconds after that you wash this and dry now when you are drying you have to make sure you do not desiccate the surface of the tooth because that will affect the bonding uh, uh, the bonding of the uh, with the bonding agent so after this what are you going to do you are going to use the bonding agent in this case, you have the activator and the prime and bond NT. Mix it here. Take a drop of this. Each. And after this, mix it with the brush nicely. You apply on the margins of the prepared cavity very nicely as I am doing it now. Once you have done this, leave it for 20 seconds and cure it briefly for 10 seconds. After that you cure it. For 10 seconds. Once you have done this, then you are going to use, you are going to apply this same mix onto the internal surface of the inlay as this, like this and then you cure it similarly as I showed you. So once you have done this, after that it is ready to be bonded onto the prepared tooth. 
then after that you will use a paper pad and mix the base and the catalyst so according to the requirement you are going to just use the base and the catalyst and then mix it with the plastic agate spatula now sometimes what happens once you are mixing you have to be fast in mixing you have to have a smooth mix as I am showing you here you can sometimes the inlay is very small uh, it will be very difficult for you to apply on the internal surface of this so you just apply on the uh, directly on the surface of the prepared cavity so once we apply directly on the prepared cavity after that you just you will just place this inlay onto the you will take this inlay and onto the prepared cavity you are going to just seat it nicely make sure you have a complete uh, the contour has to be correct and once you are satisfied with that after that you are going to cure it so you are going to briefly cure it for 2 seconds remove any excess cement on the contours wherever you find excess cement you just remove it and once you have done that you will cure evenly from all the surfaces around the inlay like this so once we have done this your all ceramic inlay is bonded onto the paper tooth so so once we have cured this and bonded onto the paper surface thereafter you are going to just finish it and polish this so make sure that you don't finish use a finishing work finishing abrasive and once we have finished it room any excess once we have trimmed this then after that you just apply a bonding coat of bonding agent and cure it and that is it so with this we come to end of the video thank you for watching the video